All right guys, so I've been getting a ton of requests for young kids drills to do. And so today we're gonna to work on some simple catching techniques. So we have Maddie here to help. You think you can help today? Yep, so Maddie's seven years old. So he's gonna show us all how to catch. So if you have a young son or daughter, we're gonna talk about um, a couple of simple things to work on, including a drill that's really fun. Let's kind of go through it, talk about the different ways that you can do it because you can progress from an easy drill to a harder drill. So the first couple things, let's talk about the ball that you're gonna use. So we're gonna start with the baseball because he's got a little bit more experience and he's played baseball for a little while. If you have a younger child, maybe four, five, six, even if they're seven, eight, or nine, but don't feel really comfortable catching yet, I would start off with something lighter than a, than a baseball. You can start out with a tennis ball, a wiffle ball, something a little bit softer. So that would be the first progression. We're gonna go right to the baseball for him because he's done these drills before. A few things to, to think about here. When you're catching the ball, the first thing that we're going to teach is to catch the ball with your fingers up. Okay, so Maddie, could you stand on, stand on home plate for a minute? Okay, so we're going to start off by throwing the ball in three different locations. So we're going to start to his glove side. He's going to have his fingers up. He's going to catch the ball. Then we're going to throw the ball right in front of his face. He's going to catch the ball fingers up. And then we're going to work over to his non-glove side, fingers up. And then we're going to come back. So we're just going to go back and forth. All right? So you can think about it. Let me step in here real quick. So you can think about the movement of the hand and glove back and forth here, working on all three points. And I'm going to call it out. All right? So I'm going to say for, for him, it'll be here, here, here. So it's glove side, middle, non-glove side, middle, glove side. Same thing for a righty. So we're going to break this down into uh, a couple different steps. So the first step that we do, Maddie, come over here real quick. Take your glove off for a second. All right. So the first way we start doing this is with no glove on. All right. So we're going to go no glove. Again, just getting used to having the fingers up. That's really important. One thing that players do, a lot of young players, when the ball gets up into this area, sometimes they'll try to turn their hand over like this to catch the ball instead of just catching with their fingers up like this, all right? It's gonna hit them in the face. Exactly, so it's, it's, like he just said, they're nervous the ball might hit them in the face, okay? So that's why, especially again, with players that don't feel comfortable, start with something very, very soft. Safety is, for me, safety is the biggest thing when it comes to these drills. The last thing you want to do is hit a young kid right in the teeth, right in the face. They're not going to want to play baseball anymore or softball anymore, okay? So make sure you start off with a softball, especially for players that don't feel really comfortable. Let's start off here. We're going to have him stand on the plate. So he's going to put both feet on the plate. He's going to go no glove. He's going to go fingers up. And we're just going to work our hand back and forth, catching in three different spots. Again, I'm going to tell him where we're throwing the ball. So think of it almost like a windshield wiper that's going to work back and forth, and you're going to hit all three spots. You ready? OK. You can see he's got like ants in his pants. He's all over the place. OK. So here we go. So stand on the plate. Make sure when you go bare hand that you are they're doing it with their glove hand. Sometimes they get confused and use the wrong hand. So Maddie's a lefty, so his glove would be on his right hand. All right, so. I know. Okay, so let's start off fingers up, glove side. Okay? So here you go. Put your fingers up, get in position, catch it, flip it back. Now go right in front of your face, fingers up, catch it, flip it back. Now let's go to non glove side, fingers up, catch it, flip it back. Now let's go back to in front of your face, fingers up, catch it, flip it back. Now let's go on this side right here, fingers up, catch it, flip it back. Okay, so we've gone through all of those spots right there. Now what I'm gonna do, the next progression, is I'm not going to tell him where I'm gonna flip it, okay? So, st so stand on that plate again. So now I'm not telling him where I'm gonna flip it. It's gonna be above his waist, so he's gonna have fingers up, Ready? So get ready here. I'm not going to tell you where. I'm either going to flip it to glove side, to your face, or to your non-glove side. You're going to catch it and flip it back. Ready? Catch it. Flip it back. Good. Fingers up. Catch it. Flip it back. Fingers up. Catch it. Flip it back. Okay? So we go through that. Again, we're going to learn when we catch the ball. Again, anything that's above the waist, we're going to catch fingers up. So that's the first step. 
that we're going to work on. We're going to eventually work on fingers down. Now, this play right here work, happens less frequently. So it's something as a young player I'd really work here. This will be a progression again for maybe a little bit of an older player. We'll go in a second with him. After we've done that now, we've gone bare hand where we know where the ball is going to be. Then we went bare hand where he doesn't know where the ball is going to be. Now you want to go glove? Glove. Okay. It's a lot easier with my glove. So now we'll go glove. All right. So he thinks it's a lot easier with his glove, but actually some players, especially young players, that aren't, they haven't used the glove a lot, they're not used to squeezing the glove, it actually can be a little bit difficult for them with the glove. So let's do the same thing. We're going to start glove side, all right? So catch it, flip it back. Let's go right in front of your face, catch it, flip it back. Let's go non-glove side, catch it, flip it back. Let's go back to your face, catch it, flip it back, and let's go glove side. Catch it, flip it back. Okay, now I'm not going to tell you where it's going. So now just catch it and flip it back, fingers up. There you go. Good. Good. Okay. So, another thing to think about when you're doing this is if the player, right, sometimes what the player does is when the ball comes close to their face, they move their face out of the way. So think about you've got a string attached from your nose to your glove. And so if the ball is this way, you can take your face that way. Now, you don't have to do this. You don't have to get your eyes right behind your glove, but you can feel, if I'm catching the ball, I'm gonna slightly move my body with the ball. If you and get again, your eyes right behind your glove and it comes really hard at you, it's gonna give you a black eye. It could, so don't, so don't do that. But that way, the player feels like they're not going away. Again, that's what you'll see a lot. The player's gonna go away from the glove. You tell them there's a string attached. And so I've got to work my face behind the glove. And again, if you use a softball and get players used to it, they'll be fine. And also using the plate right here keeps them in position that, you know, if you tell them stay on the plate, right, then they won't be jumping away from the ball. Okay, Maddie, let's go to the next one now. So this is, uh, before we go to fingers down, let's go one foot now. So this makes it a little bit tougher. So now we balance on one foot, all right? Now you can go through the whole progression again here. We're not gonna do the whole progression, but you can go no glove and then you can go uh, glove on. Let's just start with the glove on and let's just go one foot. All right, so you're gonna go left foot first? I think you can do it. I'm gonna flip it anywhere, catch your fingers up, all right? One foot, good. One foot, good. One foot, good. Now switch feet, one foot. Oh, a little bit tougher on this one. <laughs> yeah, go on your right foot again. On the plate, right foot, fingers up. Yeah, you're being a goofball now. Yes, you are. Okay. So, so you can make that, that's just a little bit of a fun way to do it again, working on some balance and body control for the player, if this is really easy for them. Again, put them on their right foot, put them on their left foot. Interesting, he's much better off of his left foot than his right foot, so maybe we spend a little bit more time on the right foot. Let's show them real quick. We won't go through the whole progression, but can we do fingers down now? Yeah. Just keep your glove on. All right, so now we're gonna go fingers down. So again, fingers down are gonna be on balls below the waist, right? If it's close to the waist, I can bend down, but there's gonna be some balls down there, our knees, that we're gonna have to turn our fingers over. It's a little bit more of an advanced move, but we can work on it, all right? So let's go both feet on the plate real quick. Here you go, ready? Both feet on the plate. So let's start on this side. All right, so we'll go fingers down here, catch it, flip it back. Let's go fingers down in the middle, catch it, flip it back. Now let's go backhand. Turn it over, catch it, flip it back. Let's go right back to the middle again. Fingers down. Nope, turn around. There you go. Catch it, flip it back, and let's go glove side, underhand, or fingers down. There you go. Okay. So you can go through that whole progression, then you can mix it up. You can go one foot, right? So again, really, really good. Before we get the players running around, one thing with young players, especially if they haven't done it before, the last thing you want to do is just say, hey, let's just go play catch, right? Because they have, so a lot of the kids have no idea how to catch it, right? He has no idea how to walk around, apparently. No, it's because so, I slipped on my foot. I noticed. So, real simple things. Keep the fingers up, right? 
Let the eyes stay behind the glove right here. Be safe, that's really, really important. Don't hurt the player, that's the last thing that you wanna do. And then keep it fun. The way, you know, you're balancing on one foot, right? They're working their glove around, they're going fingers up, fingers down, you're working on all real fundamental skills for young players, and then from there, you can get them throwing, you can get them moving around and running. So we'll talk about those drills in a little bit. So that's all we got. Maddie's now become the camera guy. I think we've run out of time. Um, short attention, short attention span, can't even make it 11 minutes. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section, but let me know more drills that you want to see. I know it's, it's time right now for most players around the country to start getting outside. It's still a little bit cold up here, but I'd like to get more drills out for youth players. So let me know if you have any questions. That's all we got. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.